all this stuff just because, you know, I, I hit buttons better than, you know, uh, this person over here or that person. You know, K-Brad talked a little bit about those tournament jitters. I got to imagine how Fudo was feeling right now. As you said, he got pretty much bodied by Tokido in winner's finals. But you know what? He's going to have a second chance here. He's hopefully made some, you know, thought about it a little bit, how he would approach this match differently. Yeah, let's take a quick review of what has happened in the top eight so far. Justin Wong versus Mena. Justin bringing out the Ed to take it over Mena. Then... Tokido versus Fudo. Tokido, like we were just saying, it was a blow up Rio. over yeah. Fudo. Punk, one of the big favorites, eliminated by Momochi after having been sent to losers pretty early on. Smug then over Daigo, always a big fan favorite, but so is Smug. Yes, mm -hmm. very close match between those two players. And then Fudo versus Momochi was a dominant performance by Momochi. By Fudo, right? I'm sorry, by, by Fudo. Men RD then dispatching Smug as he had a, in first attack mm -hmm. as well. It's mm -hmm. been a couple of big tournaments in a row. Then Fudo continued his streak, three to one over Mena, and then continued it again, three to one over Justin. So having been sent to losers 3-0 in losers side, Fudo has been on a tear. Right, but you know what? I, I do want to take the opportunity here just a little bit, just to say that I really feel like Mena RD is kind of the you know the MVP of this tournament so far. You know, getting top four in a very stacked tournament like this you know, really making a name for himself. I think it's really cool to see him come out here. I mean, again, we've obviously, if you've been following, you know how good he is, yeah. but this, this past year he's been doing so well, but this, I feel like, kind of solidifies a lot of that. I think that's really great to see. His home country, the Dominican Republic, they have very talented players. <laughs> and he every time we bring this up, he is quick to say that he's not the only one, that there is a scene there, and there's yes. a lot of strong folks. And with Kaba and DRA traveling, he even says, there's more. There's mm -hmm. more. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. But for now, he is out, and we go to the grand finals. Tokido versus Fudo. Tokido won Evolution this year. <laughs> Evo champion. In between that and here, he did fine, but not really as dominant. And here he is, that big moment again, right up at the top. Well, you know what? A lot of the times, it, what a lot of people don't realize is that sometimes during those other tournaments, Players may use that opportunity to get more information, to test things out, to try things, you know, differently, to see if they can add new stuff to their game so that when it counts, like something like EVO, like something like Brooklyn Beatdown, you know, they'll be able to take it in those situations. So even though Tokido hasn't had quite the success that he's had since EVO, here he is in Grand Finals. Yeah, and he's in the winner's side. That's what the W up there is. Fudo's on the loser's side, so... Tokido win, needs to win only this first three out of five set. Fudo needs to effectively send Tokido to losers in three out of five, then win again another three out of five set. Now, I've often said that the person who loses uh, has kind of a slight advantage when they get a run back because they, after you lose, you're just like, man, I wish I could have did this. I should have did this. I should have did that. And so, you know, if Fudo had been thinking about that, maybe he has a different plan to go up against Tokido. But well, Tokido... Such a high caliber player, I don't know if that's going to matter. Oftentimes that's true, but Fudo's been very busy. He's had to just play against two other people, whereas Tokido's been sitting by himself, and he's been able to think. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if he came up on a tear again. Yeah. He just did in that first round. Tokido probably thinking, hmm, looks like Fudo's going to come back. I'm going to make sure I, that's what stay I think. sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the spacing. Oh my god. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Pixels, pixels, literal pixels on your 10, you know, 1080 by 720 screen, right? 1280. It's not one of those. It's one of those. Yes. yes. It's one Some of those numbers. Those numbers, yes. P or an I, whatever it is. And it's amazing how they can measure that distance just through their, just by raw eyesight like that. Knowing exactly where they are, Fudo's trying to make the approach now. This is a huge moment for him. He keeps it meterless. Oh, well, you know what? He's going to spend up. A lot of resources there, but he's going right in there into the throw right after the demon flip. And we are just right on track as if Tokido has never left. Taking that first game very soundly. And look at that expression from him. The stretch, the, the little smirk. Yep. He looks so relaxed and comfortable. When we saw him before, he was doing the same thing, even though he won 3-0, then 3-1 in his top eight sets today.
after each game, including the wins, same reaction. Same reaction. It's, it's a ritual for him. And yeah. that's valuable. You know, you kind of calm yourself down. You get back into it mentally. I think he Don't even get said in a, in a previous interview, you know, he would see whenever Daigo would, like, in between matches, it was almost like he kind of zoned out. And so he was like, maybe that's the key, you know, to not get too stressed out. Because Tokido oftentimes did hurt himself in between matches, thinking too much. Well, it seems like it's working out today, that's for sure. Here comes Fudo, reacting on the way in. He tries to react to that. Many times he is successful, not right there. All right, so well, Fudo now with control. Good life lead here, good spacing, good choices right now in this footsies mid-screen game. Okay, he's gonna use, challenged it, and then blocked it. That could not have been better for Tokido. He played that perfectly. Oh, and gets the autocorrect uppercut. Still has an opportunity here. He almost has a full V trigger. If he can just block maybe one or two more things. Oh, and now he has the full critical art. So any hit right now will be able to steal the round for Tokido. He's very dangerous. Those crouching medium kicks are Ooh. meant to be hit confirms. Oh, did he get it? Not quite. I love Fudo just ending the pressure, even though his pressure afterward is not that great. Here comes Tokido. Oh That's going to do it. And he doesn't even, he knew that he could kill him without spending any meter. So he's coming in a round two with a full critical art bar. So now any hit or all this utility, he's got EX Demon Flips, EX Fireballs. Back to a range where he can control the match. He's been able to get in, he's been able to get out, he's been able to zone. Here comes, oh, no. Oh, it missed, the second hit missed. And so it stopped and Tokido was aware of that and he was ready to punish. Gets out of the corner with that EX Demon Flip. Trying to maintain pressure. Oh, he just oh, reacted too yeah. late. Very difficult to do. All right. Nice. Okay. Into the corner. That situation there is almost guaranteed damage for Mika. There oh. it is. Oh. Yes! Oh, the crouch light kick. Link confirming the critical art. The Fudo Special connects it here to take that round. He's been trying to make his reactions count in this game and in this set with Stan Fierce reacting to it on hit. Not easy to do. Crouching light kick is also very difficult, but a little bit easier. Now you can see them both back to this neutral game here. And Tokido, very similar to Justin, that economy of buttons. We haven't seen him hit a lot of buttons in this series. He probably watched that Momochi fight and said, I don't want to get whip punished all day, so I'm not going to stick out so many buttons. And he stuck out one button and Fudo had whip right. punished it. Right, that's, that's the issue. That's what he's worried about. But now Fudo's in the corner. Tokido, will he play in? He tried. He tried with Big Reed. Yeah, yeah trying to maintain far. corner control on this. Here comes Fudo, anti-air. Oh, he's gonna get the cross up and then the confirming. Guess what? This may be big. That's punishable. Yeah, there it is. And that's gonna be able to take the game, I believe. Yes. There it is. Fudo taking his first game against Tokido all day long. Remember, they faced each other earlier in the winner's bracket, and he lost 0 to 3 to Tokido. So this is a very encouraging sign for Fudo. Well, he's been on a tear and loser's side. Yeah, so he's he feels fresh right now. He's he's been playing a lot of clutch matches. So his hands are warm and he's all ready to go. Saw it in time. Fudo now pressuring. He hasn't had too many extended series of pressure right now. He's got one going. Now his corner. Tokido trying not to jump, doesn't want to get whiff punished. Jumped at the perfect time, but here's Fudo. And throws him back in the corners. The beautiful thing about the command throws, the punch one switches sides, the kick one keeps you on the same side. So you have absolute control of where you want them to go. But here comes Tokido now with this corner pressure. Two throws in a row, then backs off. That's such discipline right there to back off from all that offensive pressure. Oh, mm. that's going to do it. That jab was about keeping Tokido in place. It hit. And that may be because Tokido was trying to jump away or otherwise escape. Fudo saw that he had knocked Tokido down, kept him grounded. There's the grab. Tokido still very few buttons. Every fire, Fireball every now and then. But what I love about him is that he plays in that range where he just whip punished from. That's an uncomfortable spot for a lot of people. You feel like you can get hit easily. But Tokido very strong players make it happen. Yeah, Tokido with two crucial whip punishes against Fudo now. 
Oh, wow. Aggression from Tokido. Jabbing there because he knows that Fudo was close to stun. Wanted to get him nervous. But there you see again that right punch command in. throw. Well, putting him right back in the corner. And then Tokido waking up with crouching heavy punch. Again, Fudo backed off when he had meaty pressure right there. He comes in right on through. He does go in this time, but it's with regular grab. Not a big commitment. Neither is Ford Fierce. How does Fudo have the reactions? The EX through that fireball every time. That's that's Fudo. That's always been Fudo. Man. And continues to be Fudo. But you know what? It wasn't enough. Tokido was still able to take that round. But this is the big swing game here, at least for this first set. Uh, he walked up. He'd been playing in that range so much and had not walked up for the grab. There it is. That really makes Fudo worry. Yeah, that changes a lot of what you're looking for, and that opens you up to a lot more pokes. Again, the whip punish from Tokido. And that standing medium kick, such a great button for Akuma. Stands opponents' ups into Tatsu combos. Look at the defense. He took a lot of great damage up there, but that's better than the real stuff. Yeah. Oh, he lost that gray health, but was able to recover a little bit of it. <gasps> he reacted this time! Fudo gets it! Akuma, without much life, is that going to do it? It does! Fudo! Two games to one. Wow. Yeah, Whoa. I don't know what else to say about that <laughs> other than wow. <laughs> to react to the hit itself. Yes. The single hit itself. And, uh, Very like difficult to do. Tokido maybe wants to take... So a lot of times players will go to character select just to take a little bit of time to think about things. Right. Look like Fu uh, Tokido indicated that that's what he wanted. Yeah, I think Maybe that's to happened. switch stages or something like that. Just take some time. Settle yourself. Right. That was a big moment, and it, it happened. The end came in very impressive fashion. Yeah, and you can see, you know, from Tokido, he, you know, he nicknamed himself the murder face mm -hmm. because of the expression that he has on his face during the game between rounds. But, you know, since he started picking up a lot more of that meditation mindset, you know, you can see in between games there, a little bit of smile on his face, even after a loss. Yeah, I feel like he looks know? better. Yeah. Just bo body language wise, he looks like in a stronger position than when he was the murder face. Right. right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Still obviously very intense. Just a little bit, uh, a little bit happier about it. <laughs> He's the happy murder face now. Well, all right. <laughs> okay, got the anti-air ready to go, but that's exactly why Tokido backs up. So you want to get out of the corner. A lot of the times, people who are too aggressive. God, was that the perfect range again? Oh, and he's gonna be able to whip punish that command throw. I like Fudo trying to go up and punish it, but he was just a tiny bit too far. Tokido reacted to the back fierce on block, teleport backwards, on hit, fireball, or whatever else you're gonna do. That is so impressive. I'm not sure. I, I know that back fierce into red fireball is actually not an easy combo, if I'm not mistaken. That was what he did at Evo Top 8 as well. This is a very different style in this game for Tokido. It's so much more aggressive, mm -hmm. very more buttonsy, much more approach heavy. It's more about setups, jumping at. Yes. You know, Fudo. Very different stuff. You can go back and look at the last game. It's a different story. But here comes Fudo now. Yep, gets that punch. Oh, he probably thought he was going to try to escape the corner with that demon flip and slide on the other side. But instead, Tokido stays in the front, gets the combo, and then the demon Whoa, flip throw. Yeah. Guess what? It is tournament game for Tokido now. You know, I'm uh, so great to, to change your style in the way that he did. Mm -hmm. However, I'm a bit surprised that he brought it out when he did. That different of a style is a way to close out a set. It's a way to maybe respond if the set doesn't go well. It's not, I mean, if you lose the set. <laughs> but now he gives Fudo that look. Fudo now knows to look for that style. So what's Fudo's reaction? And what's Tokido's counter adaptation, preemptive counter adaptation? Well, right now, both of this is a much more of a slugfest than all of the previous games that we've seen. Both of these players being very active already. What? He tried to backdash because he wanted to get out of the grab, but instead there was the butt. Fudo was ridiculous. Tokido was ridiculous. All these guys are ridiculous. Oh, and here comes Nadesko. Yeah, so he was just basically V-Trigger canceling so he could stay safe. Oh, he's got his V-Trigger, and it's a good one. You know, he's pressuring. 
Doesn't last terribly long, but tons of damage and setups out of it. Oh, two throws for Tokido. And of course, when the throw is going to kill, you'll see the back throw oftentimes because that's a an option select to block in case they do a wake up and then you throw. Here you go. This is potentially tournament point. It is tournament point for Tokido. Right now, Udo wants to see otherwise. Coming in, already the offense. We haven't seen him in this corner. Pressure Ooh, control very often in this set, but yeah. he's got it now. He's going to get close. Maybe one more reset. Well, here's the question, though. Fudo has got had him. to spend two bars to do that. He's gotten one of them back, but look at Tokido now. Full critical art. He's got oh, wow. EX Demon Flips, EX Red Fireballs, Fine. all ready to go. EX Uppercuts. However, Tokido not known to do any wake-up EX Uppercuts. Boom, right through, and he was just at the range where all the hits hit. Okay, Tokido gets in there, goes for the throw, but Fudo... Backing away, Fudo, if he can take this round, he will reset the bracket and will go to another set. But here comes Tokido, goes for the mix-up instead of the guaranteed damage. Very close to stun, and if he gets stunned, no, he's not going to get it. Fudo instead wakes up. Active still, had to respawn with Fudo. Okay, one more series now for Fudo. Good blocks for Tokido. Now the life deficit, not nearly. Oh. He jumped, he read the forward fierce. It's not enough, he didn't have meter to seal it. Got but it anyway. Tokido went for the throw on wake up. Fudo knew that he was scared, jumped over, punished the throw with, and guess what? We have a bracket reset. We are going to one more bracket. Tokido has essentially been knocked into losers. That forward fierce is very nice on block. It gives Akuma advantage. It gets over grabs. That's all fine and dandy, but it starts up so slowly. And against somebody like Fudo with reactions, look, if you can react to fierce hitting by itself into super, Critical art. <laughs> then you can react to forward fierce from Akuma starting up. And neutral jump is what Fudo did. That was crazy good. If you can react to the wrench, you can react to the ball. <laughs> yeah, wh whether that was a read or whether that was a reaction, either way, it's present. Right. Nice, catching him with the slide, recognizing that Tokido has just been walking back and forth and exposing his legs. And Tokido showing right there, he's like, I know you punish that towards heavy punch, but I'm not scared to keep using it. Yeah, well, that's important. You gotta keep your tools. All right, staying in the front. Wow, backdashing through the command throw, but then he double backdashed, so he couldn't really punish at that point. I don't know if that double backdash was by accident or not. Ooh, light punch at all, oh, and there it is again, that towards heavy punch. I love that he's actually using it more now. I think <laughs> yeah. that's really cool. Oh, and the V trigger cancel. That, uh... Nice. Jump backwards, air fireball, and same, same situation as how Fudo reset the bracket. Fudo was scared at that point, kind of woke up with a reactionary throw and ate those air fireballs. Just like Tokido ate that cross of light kick. Tokido had an awesome range on screen right now. And yeah, using more fireballs. And remember, Fudo has had great reaction to EX through those fireballs. Yeah, that's true. Currently not right now. I don't think those are true block strings. I feel like he should be able to armor through those. There is not armor instantly on one frame, but I feel like there's more than a three frame window for him to get that through the fireball, but it's one of those things I'd have to test in training mode. I'm sure Fudo has. Here comes EX Grab back into the corner. Not great pressure afterward, but at least he gets the corner, which is what he needs right now. It's good position, good damage, and Tokido just jumps out of the corner like that. See, to Tokido jumped, landed, back dash. Did not want to deal with the command grab. Here's Fudo now, pressuring. Got him! That's gonna be the round. That's a lot of damage. And that is the post. That That's the mix-up for Mika, right? You're, you're thinking, okay, it's gonna be command throw or meaty. And the meaty ends up being towards heavy punch. But that's still plus three on block, so you're still stuck in a mix-up. And so Fudo was able to take advantage of that towards heavy punch right into the command throw to take that round. Can Fudo take an official lead over Tokido finally? 
tried to react there to the demon hook again. The toward fierce comes out for Torpedo. Oh, and the medium. Oh, but he didn't come out. Yeah, a standing medium kick. Quite surprised. Oh, Wakes wow. up, also a surprise. It's rare that he does it, especially without future trigger cancel. Yeah, he has not done wake up EX uppercuts very common at all. And in fact, people said at Evil Top 8, he did not do it a single time. Here comes Pluto, reacts to the block with yeah. trigger. Smart. Not in time. Tokido was maybe hoping that would steal it, did not. So. Oh. Be blocked! Pluto yeah. is very dangerous. Next man, did he get it? Was there a button from Tokido? There was not! I thought Tokido, I swear I saw a button from Tokido, but it wasn't there. Tokido able to avoid the critical art. And that was so smart by Fudo too, because if that had connected, he would have won. Yeah. So he just bet it all on the line right there. Especially with that power up, when she has the V skill going, the mic, it makes her command grabs do more damage, including the super. Right. So that, that would have been the round, absolutely. But so, you can jump out of it on reaction. Mm -hmm. It's just a big bet by Fudo, hoping that Tokido had done something, a grab, a button, something like that. Oh, didn't work out for him, and Fudo unable to take an official lead over Tokido. But starting off this game really well. Already half-light, close to stun. No, nope, now it is the stun. Yeah, and there's going to be a reset coming in. What's it going to be? Side, side, grab. Went in, Tokido, with wake up, uppercut from the front. Oh, he walked into it. He thought he was out of the range, and he walked into almost like he walked into the later active frames, too. Oh, here comes the dash go. Well, that's a way to at least make himself safe. Or oh, not. Oh or my. not. Tokido with the smart stuff, uppercutting the jump and using that to avoid Nadeshko. Yeah, and then dash forward into jab. He had very rarely dashed in and done anything, and Udo, I think, had expected that, that Tokido would stay away. Tokido mixed it up. Gotta play with your spacing. You cannot get predictable. Movement is a huge part of this game. Now staying away is Tokido Fudo. Patient as well. Ooh, okay. Caught him out of the air. It looked like he tried to kick. That's why he got crushed countered out of the air, which did give Fudo extra damage with the juggle as well. Again, the dash forward jab. Maybe Tokido thinks he learned something good. Oh, boy. Here comes Fudo now. Okay, what's the mix up? Oh, Fudo almost had that conversion. He had seen Tokido hit light punch in that situation before. Last time it hit Fudo out of the air, so Fudo stayed on the ground, figuring he could combo off. Mm, now right. Tokido is a mix up away from taking this game. Got it, is that oh, it? May. Critical art, and even if this doesn't kill, we'll get the uppercut afterwards. He doesn't need it. Tokido is up two to zero, just like that. Well, we're just talking about how Fudo was doing so great. Of course, he reset the bracket. But when they played earlier, it was a 3-0. Yep. At the, top, at the start of top eight today. And this final set is shaping up exactly like that. What is the change now from Fudo? Gotta see something different. Gotta see different movement. Gotta see different buttons, different mix-ups. Hey, look, if you're Fudo, all you think to yourself is, Tokido 3-0'd me, so why can't I 3-0 -oh him back? Exactly right. Exactly right. And that's what he's gotta do. And a great start. Oh, a back dash to avoid the command throw. And then he missed his own meaty and that wake up <laughs> command throw from Fudo. They both did their wake up options. <laughs> I love it. All right. Using that Justin Wong strategy, V reversing that charge drop kick. Don't want to deal with that mix up. Oh, the wake up buttons from Fudo. EX into Nadeshko, into the wingless airplane. Just a tiny bit of life left. Jab start up for Tokido. He's from the front right there. Fudo was maybe looking for the cross up, didn't come. Now, one mix up, either way. And the delayed crouching medium kick is gonna do it. The staggered crouching medium kick is gonna put Tokido back at tournament point. We have to see the changes from Fudo. There has to be something if he's gonna take this game, if he's gonna move on. He's gonna stay alive. If not, Tokido will win it. Right now, it's more mental than anything for Fudo. Does he believe he could win two rounds and then two more games to take this from Tokido? In the back dash! Tokido has been doing it consistently. Here comes Tokido. Ton of damage available to him. Look at that up there. The orange bar, that stun bar. If this gets hit, that's gonna do uh, it. No, we blocked in time. And it got out. It's still danger of stun. And that's gonna do it. There's the stun right there. Tokido is gonna finish it off with the fancy Todd combo to take Brooklyn feet down. Tokido is your champion.
He won Evolution 2017 this year, and he looked strong in doing it. He had to come from losers in that tournament. In this one, nobody sent him to losers until Fudo at the very end. And when it happened, Tokido immediately made the adaptations he needed, and he dominated that last set. Tokido takes home that trophy, but also a sweet 20K prize pot. Congratulations once again to Tokido and to Fudo as well for a oh, hard yeah. fought grand finals. Fantastic play by all the players here for the Brooklyn Beatdown Street Fighter V. I want to know what Tokido thinks. He's always a man of interesting words. He had some after Evolution 2017 one. He had a couple of strong sayings for himself. And I want to know what he thinks this time as well. Let's go down to Mark to Born Free for a conversation with our champion. Mr. Born Free. We got a mic that works. All right, Takedo, Evo World Champion, and now ESL Brooklyn Beatdown Champion. How do you feel, man? Very happy now. Very happy. That was an amazing performance. What were you thinking when he when he hit the reset? That was scary, right? What were you thinking? How did you compose yourself? Oh, actually, when he reset me, I'm very scared but usually i practice a lot not only in game but uh, i um, practice my mental training so that's why i keep calm down to against him again uh, mental training that's what it's all about man apparently we've we seen you do the meditation do you have uh, a message for your supporters or anybody who's watching right now? Ah, uh, yes, because of a lot of support from you guys. Of course, my sponsor, Echo Fox, and a lot of fans. Oh, uh, just I want to say uh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, give it up for Takedo, ESL, Brooklyn Beatdown champion. Thank you, everybody who's attended, everybody on stream. We're going to close it out, and we will see you next time. There he is, your champion, Takedo.